my the, the act of stoning me, the, the act of stoning that shall not want me to, to obey you. This act of stone that is making me rebellious. This act of stone that is making me go today or tomorrow. This act of stone that God does not want to, to yield to, 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 to your commandment. Oh Lord, destroy today and give me a new act of flesh. Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, oh God, take away this act of stone within me and give me a heart of flesh. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Do you know that God can give somebody a heart of stone? There is a way you get rebellious. In Romans chapter 1, it, got, it says, since they did not, from verse 28, since they did not consider it fit to acknowledge him as God and serve him accordingly. So he gave them a reprobate mind. Amen. Amen. In Daniel chapter 4, God turned the heart of Nebuchadnezzar to that of a beast. Amen. 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 And so, why you, there is a way a people will resent God, resist God, deny God, and God will hand them over to Satan. Amen. Amen. He said, go and perfect them. Apostle Paul handed over a fellow believer to the devil, so that the devil will perfect them. I don't know what we would have done as individuals, as a people, and as a nation, that God may have handed us over to reprobate mind. We are going to go to the Lord in prayer from Psalm 65 verse 2. Oh God, that answer that prayers shall all men run to. Amen. 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 It said, O oh thou that hearest prayers, unto thee shall all flesh come to. Even the sinner that repents will come to the same Lord. Amen. 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 The righteous will come to the same God. Amen. We all pray, but there are different dimensions of prayers. Yes, the prayer of the sinner is not the prayer of the righteous. Yes, the prayer of the sinner that God listens to is a prayer of conversion and repentance. And Papa says something in today's Bible study. God does not owe you a sinner answers to your petitions. As long as you don't owe God your lifestyle of righteousness and holiness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, a sinner, for a sinner to bold face, pray to God for answer is a daylight robbery. Amen. Amen. It's like not wanting going to justice or arbitration without conceding ground to the next person. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, from Psalm 4, chapter 4, verse 1, hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me. And hear my prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availed much. The sinner does not intercede for a nation. Am I talking now? The man in the pit 
needs a ladder to climb out. The people of the other religion, anywhere you find them, they are in the valley, they are in the pit, they need help. I remember some years ago, the then President of the United States made a statement. We are different people. We are people that love life. We are people that love death. Hallelujah. Amen. A people that love life and the people that love death are never the same. And they will not be the same thing. Because their book of instruction is a book of destruction. Contrary to our book of instruction, which is the book of love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Holy Bible from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, 16, 17. It says, since you were young, you have been given to this scripture. In verse 16, which is able to make you wise. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's for instruction. It's for correction. And then, it's for judgment. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so we're going to ask the Lord. By your mercy, visit Nigeria. Amen. By your mercy, visit Nigeria. Amen. Break the bands of wickedness Amen. and set the land free. Amen. For among my people, there are wicked men. According to the book of Jeremiah, praise the Lord. 627. For among my people in Nigeria, there are wicked men. Hallelujah. Amen. There are wicked women that delight in love. Their God is a God that sucks blood. Our God is a God that gives blood to redeem. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want to tell you, God does not accept the blood of any animal to redeem humanity. And God does not accept the blood of any human being to redeem humanity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For once, He gave His only begotten Son. It was in the hand of man, too, He was crucified and His blood was shed. But never again, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We are here as intercessors tonight. To cry out to the Lord and hear it prayers. May your mercy visit the 36 states of Nigeria. Amen. The 774 local governments of Nigeria, Amen. including the FCT. Then you are going to cry out to the Lord. Maka Prashatira, Subra Gandhi, Lika Suka Libra Gadira, Mande or Suka Turika, Takatari Prashatira, Miko Sakatari, Raka Suka Tamir, Maseke Prakatira.
Psalm 74. He said, a man becomes popular based on the number of churches he shut down. Am I talking now? He said that we tell the acts against the sanctuary. And I listened to just a couple of videos. The one that angered me most was the lady on the YouTube. I told you, you go to church with sex. It don't, it's not only when you go to church every day that you are serving God. I see, I don't know her name, but may God show you mercy wherever you are. Amen. I want people to leave Christianity for Christians to discuss. I'm not charlatans on YouTube that are looking for ways to make easy money, but I want to make a promise before the money comes, you will go down if you don't repent. Am I talking to someone? Yes, Anybody that decides to make money from the church of Jesus Christ, you will not be there to spend the money. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the couple that was killed, they went on, on Saturday, and they went for Thanksgiving on Sunday. Is that to use sense to go to church? When people go to Kofu, they don't use sense to go to Kofu. When people go to occult shrines, they don't use sense. It's only the church. Any power that makes the church a project, May heaven and earth meet on the matter Amen. and destroy you by fire, by fire. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We ask for your divine intervention, Lord, on that nation. The charlatans from the foot of Jalo, the jihadists on that land, and then the jihadists in the Asura, Father, show them mercy. Amen. Amen. Show them mercy. Amen. And Father, we are people that love life. May you grant us the grace for life. Amen. In your mercy is a righteous judgment against wickedness. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11, he said, Because sentence against wickedness has not been executed speedily. That is why the heart of man is inclined towards more harm. Father, we ask for divine judgment. Amen. Across the 36 states, including FCT. Mm -hmm. Let there be a judgment Amen. on the land of Nigeria. Amen. Let there be a divine judgment Amen. against wickedness. Amen. He said, although hands join to hands, yes. Proverbs 11 21, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Father, let thy judgment move on the land. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Whoever is seated in the place of authority, releasing the mad dogs to the streets. May the judgment of God visit you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And Father, by the same token, we enter Cameroon. The, the blood sucking demons, ageless in Cameroon. Father, let there be judgment in Cameroon. Amen. Amen. Let there be judgment in Cameroon. Amen. Amen. Against wickedness Amen. of all kinds. Blood sucking demons in the name of Jesus. Amen. When I will return to the United States, by the same measure, when you talked about after every event we brood, we put it behind us, we move forward. That is not healing, that is not solution. Two weeks ago, there was a bloody mass shooting in Texas. And each time it comes, we do window dressing. We find explanation that does not make logical sense, intellectual sense, moral sense, ethical sense to even the devil. Hallelujah. Yeah. NRA, political divide, race and racism motivated gun culture in the United States. They have made it difficult for the debate over gun. Must, must under amendment, second, third, fourth, and whatever amendment. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask the Lord to intervene in this nation. Amen. The Lord intervene in the United States. Amen. And let judgment 
visit wickedness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the judgment of God visit vampires on this land. Amen. Advocates of God I release a judgment tonight. Amen. He said the sword will not depart from your house. Amen. By the same measure, gun violence will not depart from your home. Amen. They will not depart from your family. Amen. They will not depart in the lives of your children. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. We can see yeah. the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. My here. Oh, great prayer. Amos chapter 5, verse 19. Kalabashita Sukatali. Amos 5, 19. I want to start from 18. Whoa! Judgment is coming to you. Who desire the day of the Lord? Expecting rescue from the Gentiles. Why would you want the day of the Lord? It is darkness. Judgment and not light. And rescue and prosperity. Verse 19. It is as if a man runs from a lion, escaping one danger, and the bear meets him. So he dies anyway, or goes home and leans with his hand against the wall. And the snake bites him. Lord, save us from all round battles. Amen. Save us from all round battles. Amen. There are those with battles of master challenge, battles of children misbehaving, battles of losing jobs, losing homes, sicknesses and affliction. These there is what we call a confluence of crisis. When you are addressing this, these are concomitant afflictions. Because when you have what we call concomitant medications, it means you also have, have what we call concomitant afflictions. Afflictions that are multi-faceted. We are going to pray tonight, Lord, save me from this path of all round battles and give me rest on all sides. Give me rest on all sides. Solomon, in the book of First Kings, Solomon asked Lord, I think first king for 16 there about. And then he said, and the Lord gave him rest all around. Lord, give me rest from all around battles. Give me rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is nothing like rest. When you are at peace, you have rest. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray. Oh Lord, oh Lord, grant me rest. Grant me rest from all our battles. From all our in the name of Jesus, my father, my father, my father, my father, my father, my
Psalm 140, verse 12. He said, Let not evil speakers be found among you. Psalm 140, verse 12. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let not evil speakers be established amongst you. But there in Mark chapter 14. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mark chapter 14. Thank you, Father. Mark chapter 14. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mark chapter 14. Thank you, Father. Mark chapter 14. Jesus. Uh, we're going to around verse 55, 56, 57. Amen. Amen. Now the chief priests and the entire council, Sahendra, Jewish high court, were trying to obtain testimony against Jesus, which they could use to have him condemned and executed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you go to the book of Matthew chapter 36, don't go there. He said from verse 59 there. Yeah. We're going to be continue with this. He said, and many false witnesses came forward. But there was something they found inconsistency in their testimonies. Hallelujah. Yeah. Is that where in verse 56 he said, for many people were giving false testimony against him. But their testimonies were not consistent. I pray for you tonight. Man, the Catania, every gathering of the wicked ones, whose assignment is to drop off satanic charges, to lay allegations, false allegations against you, may God divide their tongue. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Christ. May their tongue cleave to the roof of the mouth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. In Genesis chapter 11, verse 6. He said, and the people is one because they maintain a language. Guess what? When you go to the next verse, they found a common ground. Not because what they were alleging against Jesus was true, but they used his own words against him. It could be your work environment, it could be your business environment, something related to your professional practice. But the devil will rest evil speakers. I pray for somebody out there. Every agent of darkness around you, used by the forces of satanic kingdom to drop up evil charges, satanic allegations against you, as in Catania, in the order of Judas Iscariot, they go down by fire. Amen. Anyone assigned to betray you, to drop off satanic charges, to bear false allegations. The Bible says, evil shall slay the wicked. Amen. Amen. And the wicked shall not go unpunished. Amen. From this altar, in the name of Jesus, we release judgment. Amen. We release judgment of fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus, they go now. Amen. He said, I have escaped like a bed from the farmer. From this altar, anyone that there is a gang of there is a conspiracy against you in that marriage, in that family, in that business environment, I decree prophetically in the name of Jesus, you have escaped. Amen. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you have escaped. Amen. Every gang of every conspiracy, as I have for beautiful verse 15, he says, Surely they will gather, but not by me. For thy sake. In the name of Jesus, they go down. Amen. Amen. For your sake, they go down. Amen. Amen. In, Isaiah 8, in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9 and 10, he said, Guide yourself, O you wicked ones. Guide yourself, O you people of far and near country. For you shall scatter to pieces in the name of Amen. Every from this altar, every gang of, every conspiracy against you, in the name of Jesus, they scatter to pieces. From 1, 2, 3, 4. He said, I will give Egypt in exchange. Ethiopia and Syria, I will swap there for you. Amen. Anywhere they plot your, your downfall, 
they plot disaster against you. In the name of Jesus, may God swap them tonight. Amen. Instead of you to go down, they will go down. Amen. Amen. Your enemies will go down. Amen. Amen. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, 21, 22, the, the, he said, the inhabitants, the descendants of Ammon, Moab and Mansia, they gathered against Israel. But God did something. God caused confusion in their midst. The descendants of Ammon and the Moabites, they gathered in their, their territory. They gathered against Mansia and two against one. They crushed the third party. When they were done, God said, I'm not done. Face each other and begin to kill yourself. When they finished with their third party, they came back. The two sides killed themselves. When Israel came, he said, as Israel was moving, they saw dead body. I see you. See dead bodies in the camp. Yeah. Yeah. I see somebody tonight witnessing the dark form of your enemy. Yeah. Against you, 
Every curse word, man the catalia, as you catalia the shanty. In the name of Jesus, back to send. By the power of the Holy Ghost, back to send. I activate the scripture tonight against your sworn enemies. Psalm 7, verse 15 and 16. He said, He has dug a pit and he has fallen into it. In Ecclesiastes, Kalabashati, he said, in Proverbs chapter 26, verse 27, he said, He that digged a pit shall fall into it. And he that rolled a stone, his stone shall pass back. When you throw a stone on the wall, every Omega child is a, is a concrete wall. Yes, sir. You have made a mistake. Yes, sir. Every Omega child is a concrete wall. Yes, sir. And when you throw a stone on the wall, it shall pass back. Amen. Amen. Every stone thrown at an Omega child, Asusu Katalia. In the name of Jesus, by the scripture, go back to send. Amen. Destroy your send. Amen. In Psalm 7, verse 15. He said, Now, he, saw, he said, he didn't say he that did get it. He said he has dug a pit. He has hammered it and separated it. And he has fallen into a pit. Tonight, everyone that dug a pit for an omega child. Hiding under the prophetic place of a fire. Apostle John says, in the name of Jesus, will push you to your own grave. Amen. Amen. Be buried in your own grave. Amen. Be buried in your own grave. Amen. He said, and their wickedness shall recoil on their own heads. I decree tonight, every orchestration from the pit of hell, by any agent of darkness, against any omega child, what you wish for an Omega child will recall your head. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 I want to tell you, the Bible says, He that must boast must boast in the Lord. Yes. We are not ordinary Christians. As such a talia, ordinary Christians are the ones who use their heads to drink water. But I've come to make a definite pronouncement on this land. Touch not an Omega child. If you touch us in hell, you'll die by correction. Amen. If you touch us by mistake, you will be an example of Amen. how not to touch a fire blind Christian. Amen. And the name of Jesus of God that might fire. Amen. Whoever stretch forth hands against your children on this land. A sucker tell you, man they shall be shanty. Father will cut off their hands. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He said, What shall I give them? Give them a miscarrying wound and a dry breast. Anywhere they are planning. Once they have a miscarrying womb, it means their plans are aborted tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Once they have a dry breast, but eventually they escape to have to be pregnant. They will not see breast milk. To breastfeed their child. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give them a dry breast. Amen. Anywhere they have put on a red, about to execute, anywhere they have given back to wickedness already, Father, give them a dry breast. Amen. Give them a dry breast. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And Father, we're going to pray prayer. Every enemy under my roof, every enemy around me, that is the source of my battles, that is submitting my case in a court. The Bible says, members of one's household shall be his worst enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, that's weevil. That is eating the bean seeds is buried inside it. Oh God, fire of God. Enter the bean seeds, smoke them out. Amen. Enter my roof, smoke them out. Amen. Enter my attic, smoke them out. Amen. Enter my house, smoke them out. Amen. Whenever you are going to ask the Lord, release your fire into my home, into my family, into my foundation, anywhere they are hiding. Remove their mask, smoke them out. Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. You know my family 
more than I know. You know my family more than I know. Every enemy around me, around me, around my family, under my roof, under my roof. Submitting my information, to let it go home. That has a hand in my challenge. Enough is enough. As I pray, I never ask. Lord, release your fire. Release your fire. Jesus. 
invade my foundation. Amen. Correct every error Amen. that is working against me. Why not now? Yes, sir. I don't know about you. There are many of us that our foundations are maybe better than my own. Pray for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I came from a foundation. I met my parents in the church. I didn't meet them in Christ. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. It's one thing to be in the church. It's another thing to be in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The community we do what they call that the harvest. Yes, sir. They are the power brokers. Hallelujah. Amen. Blind priests will make occult men. <laughs> the chairman yes, sir. of Harvest Committee. Am yes. I talking now? Yes, sir. Because of money. Do you know churches across the world? You don't accept every donation. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Who pays the piper? The taste it all. He said, it doesn't matter, just get the offering. I've come to tell you that we are wiser than that. Keep your satanic donations. Amen. Your grants to churches. Designed to run the churches. We reject them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every aid, every grant, financial grant from the occult grandmasters, from witches and wizards, across the state of Florida, across the United States, we reject your financial aid in the name of Jesus. Amen. And pastors, wake up. I'm going to visit our foundation tonight. Blood of Jesus. You know my foundation better than I do. Patana matana marita. In, you have my permission tonight. Invade my foundation. Correct every error. Amen. That is working against me. Amen. By the mercies of God, correct every error. Amen. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father. Oh God, that answer a prayer. Oh God, that answer a prayer. You know my foundation. You know my foundation. Patana matana marita. Patana matana marita. Better than I do. Better than I do. As I pray in the name of Jesus. As I pray in the name of Jesus.
powers manipulating me against Christianity. Break your hope. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There are many of us who make one, we take one step forward. That same power we ask, we begin to question you. In the book of First Kings, chapter, chapter 2, there, there's a guy they call Lemuel. Lemuel was handed over to Solomon by, by David. He said, deal with this guy. They gave him a place he will not cross. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. There are many forces in our foundation resisting our next level. You think it's only finance. No! Finance is less important than your salvation. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Yes. The devil that wants you to succeed financially but hates your success spiritually is an enemy. In the morning we read a place, Obedeah 117, Upon Mount Zion they shall be delivered, they shall be holiness. And the people shall possess their possession. But let me tell you, without your deliverance, holiness does not come. Yes, sir. Am I talking about yes, sir. And without holiness, you can't possess your possession. Because our God is a God of judgment. Anything you ask God, God will judge, sit in judgment. Do you deserve this thing? What is your reasonable sir, argument? Am I talking about yes, And God sits in the court to first of all adjudicate. And when the devil also comes to attack you, God will open the book of records. That was what happened in Zechariah chapter 3, verses 1, 2, 3. When Joshua the high priest was being accused, the fifty garment was the seed that was there. In John chapter 3, verse 25, that was the legal ground that the devil used to invade the children of Job and kill the ten of them in one day. I pray tonight, every power in your foundation, manipulating you against Christianity. Today, in the name of Jesus, they lose you, they die. Amen. They lose you, they die. Amen. They lose you, they die. Amen. You, they die. Amen. you no longer intellectualize spiritual matters. Amen. Any power that is after your soul is after your salvation. Amen. In Psalm 35, verse 4, he said, The enemy that are after my soul, I pray for you tonight. Any power that is chasing after your soul in this service tonight, in the name of Jesus, they lose you, they lose your soul. Amen. Amen. They lose the souls of your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Blessed be the Holy Name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray tonight. Amen. Let's go on our seats and then we'll just conclude um, this part of what we're doing. And Papa started another version of it today. But we were dealing with that. You know, we're handling prayers, factors, catalysts to prayers, and factors that hinder prayers. Amen. Amen. For to God be the glory, we are here tonight. We are just pulling off in our event center. Our main building is under renovation by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so just give us um, just one day. I know hopefully from 12 tomorrow, the air conditioners. Our own, the, the one we ordered will be here because they tell us you're ready by the grace of God from the trunk. Amen. Amen. And then also, the management is trying to do something about the other one. But we're not going to actually wait for them. Amen. Amen. That thing has cost us our keyboard now. We have to replace the keyboard yesterday because um, I want to make it out. And perhaps I think it will have somehow impacted on our keyboard. God is helping us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The work of God must move forward. Amen. The devil is in trouble. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And then we're looking at factors. We first of all look at the factors that trigger answers to prayers. And Papa did it with a couple of things today. Hallelujah. Amen. And then I think his anchor text was on. Um, Luke 18, men ought to pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then he looked at a couple of factors that will enhance prayers and things also. That the most important thing about answers to prayers is knowing who you are praying to. Amen. Amen. Knowing that is knowledge. Amen. Amen. For you to know, you say prayer is not a monologue, it's a dialogue. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when you pray, you expect answers. And that is why I want to caution all of us too. When answers are coming, 
when answers, there is a place of training to understand how God answers prayers. And Papa said something that when he started um, this in his presence, in his presence, he taught a series on that, different series. But this is where the problem is. He said the first time he prayed, he thought of God in answers, and he slept up in the process. Amen. Amen. If you go to the book of First Samuel, chapter 3, there is a place of training of how to hear God. Samuel. Yeah, first Samuel chapter 3. Amen. Amen. God called Samuel three times. The first time was when Samuel was able to grasp. He didn't just grasp. There was a place of training. Am I talking now? There was a place of mentorship. And I was saying something yesterday when we were talking about us. Do not call any man your father. You know that is the place where spiritual rascals are, are, are talking now. Don't call any man your father. Except your father. Amen. Amen. Now, anytime you write Apostle Sule, man, your father, how do you spell the F? Is it uppercase or lowercase? Lowercase. Lowercase. Now, when you call God your father, the F is what? Uppercase. Now, when he said, don't call any man your father, he used a lowercase. Am I talking now? But as your father who is in heaven, praise the Lord. Training on how to hear God, it takes knowledge, it takes submission, praise the Lord. It takes knowledge of God and it takes total surrender. Hello, Amen. Like I said, and I normally say, God is a wise investor. And the greatest investor of all times. God doesn't invest anymore on people that he's going to lose. Amen. Amen. He invested so much in Adam, on Adam and Eve and he lost them in the garden. Praise the Lord. Amen. So before God released his only begotten son, he took years and thousands of years of cooking. Of who will not disappoint him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then when Jesus came, those things that made Adam and Eve to lose in the first couple. Do you know there are people that want to play soccer or basketball? The first contact, a stranger will take them off the field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I talking now? Yes, sir. <laughs> That was the case of Adam and Eve. The first contact when the devil came from heaven. Revelation 12, 7. He said, Go behind the earth and the and inhabitants of the earth in verse 12. For that ancient serpent, God the dragon has the order. And he came with vengeance. The vengeance, the first time, he fell down. Adam followed. He will not go down. Amen. I say he will not go down. Amen. And in the case of Jesus. He said, after the baptism, the devil came and took him. Tempted him three times. He said, we don't have a high priest who is insensitive to our own infirmities. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. And that is Jesus Christ. He came in flesh to test and see what made Adam and Eve to fall. He went through these things as flesh. He survived it. You will survive it. Amen. Our children will survive. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, when you and I appearing before this throne of judgment, we have no excuse anymore because Jesus came. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, when you face tribulations on this earth, take heart, for I have overcome the world for you. Amen. Amen. I knew what it, it takes to be tempted as a flesh. That was the last one that came was, Lord, if it be possible, let this call pass by me. But guess what? He remembered the agreement. May you remember the agreement with God. Amen. Amen. The agreement is tied to your salvation in Christ Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And that is where knowledge is. If you don't know, you quickly surrender. Daniel understood the place of salvation. Mishak Shalek and Abednego understood. In Daniel chapter 3, these three young men were bound and he said, Now bow down before this 90 feet image. The Bible said, They that know their God shall be strong and they shall do as well. And guess what? Nebuchadnezzar was not careful to answer you on this matter. We know as Omega children, our God is able to deliver us from your wickedness. But for adventure, he does not. That does not change God. God is able to give me money. If he doesn't give me money, that does not change God. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. God is able to preserve my marriage. If he does not preserve it, that does not change God. God remains God. Yeah. If you come to this knowledge, you will survive this end time wickedness. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray you will survive it. Amen. Based on knowledge. Amen. The knowledge of what? The knowledge of God. And where is the knowledge embedded? The knowledge is in Genesis to Revelation. This book of the law shall not depart from thy mouth. Meditate on it day and night. For out of it, we shall have good success. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is from this book. And the world is getting more confused, but not for you. Amen. 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 I said the world is getting more confused, but not for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And then when you are at death with the word of God, you know it sounds insane. Hallelujah. Amen. He said this same gospel that was preached was preached to me. He did not benefit all. And then in 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 1, verse 18, 19, he said this, to them that are perishing, this book is foolishness. Amen. Amen. In chapter 2 of 1 Corinthians, he said because these things are spiritually discerned. You can't use academic sense, you can't use intellectual sense, you can't use scientific sense to discern things of the spirit because they are beyond the flesh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Bible is a life manual, a guide. A guide is what shows you direction. And any time you see somebody say, I don't do God, I do, it means I don't do the Bible. It means you don't need a guide. It means you don't need a life manual. And that is why you can suffocate yourself with drugs, alcohol, sexual promiscuity, and the rest. Because your body is not the temple. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. If you understand that a time will come when God will no longer dwell in houses that are built by men, but they will dwell, He will indwell in you. And the time is now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why you must sanctify the temple. And Papa said something. If and if you don't owe God your lifestyle, by living according to the word of God, the standard prescribed, God does not owe you answers to prayers. Amen. Amen. So don't waste your time praying. Because before God answers every prayer, there is a city, there is a judgment. So when people talk about judgment, in, you know, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, he said you have been weighed in the balance. And you have been found wanting. Your kingdom has been taken away and divided among the parents and the marriage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So every day we are being weighed by the word of God. Every day we stand in judgment because the devil is always coming before God to accuse us day and night. And God is a fair judge. God gives Judgment to the devil. Why? It's according to the book. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Yes. That was why Joshua the high priest, the angels were there looking at him. The angels were helpless. In Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2, he said, The lost ear is not there to hear. Neither his arms shortened to save you, but with your sins, our sins have separated between us. I pray tonight. Imagine from the Holy Ghost Conference, there will be revival in the house. Amen. Amen.
There will be revival in the house. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want you to personalize your Christianity. It's not a collective thing. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. If your husband is not ready, be ready. If your wife is not ready, be ready. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Why? On that day, even if marriage you change your last name, God knows you by your identity. How do I know? You say before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I engraved you in my plan. Hallelujah. Amen. I ordained you a prophet. May you not miss your God given assignment. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We move forward. Neglecting the cry of the need. One of the factors that hinder prayers is what we're giving now. Number 13. You know, we ended on number 12 last Tuesday. Amen. Yes, sir. Number 14 is, number 13 is neglecting the cry of the need. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13. Whoever shuts his ears and the cry of the poor will cry out himself and not be answered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13. There are many things that are working against our prayers. But we don't look at it. You know, the one thing that most of us refuse to admit is, or agree is that the enemy is not always on our matter. Our judgment can be fought. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, if there is an enemy, it means we gave the enemy that opportunity to ravage. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible tells us that we should be vigilant. Amen. Amen. For the enemy prowls around looking for who to break the law. In other words, one of the guiding principles for every genuine believer is vigilance. Amen. Amen. Knowing full way that you have an adversary, they make suggestions, they manipulate, they lead, they guide, they provide what looks like safe landing. Amen. Amen. They make you feel that sin is alluring and pleasuring. Praise the Lord. And make you believe that the Holy Bible is moribund and out of fashion. They make you believe that God does not love you. The same Satan that placed alcohol in your hand and you are drunk will tell you to accuse God, but not accuse God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God did not place alcohol in your hands. He didn't place drugs in your hands. And you are out there to preach to somebody. He said, Honey, don't tell me about God. I hate God. You are just a victim in the hand of Satan. God gave you decisions and choices to make. You allow the devil to influence your choices. So you get the consequence of what the devil has given to you. You will not fall into the hand of the enemy. Amen. Number 14. Lack of fellowship with God hinders prayers. How do I know? John 15, 7. John chapter 15, verse 7. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you. That is, if we are vitally united and grafted, and my message lives in your heart, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, if you don't remain in Him, and the words in you, whatever you will ask will not be answered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, if you are not engrafted, hallelujah. Amen. If you are not engrafted in the, in, in the word of the Lord and in the Lord, it means you don't have knowledge of Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, the devil will do everything to discourage you from studying this word of God. And the first time for those of us who are Americans, we were under the excuse that King James Version was written by Paul. Hard British English. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Thank God for new translations. No matter how they are going to contaminate some of them. But greater percentage of them are speaking the truth. Amen. Amen. So you have no excuse. There are simple translations, ESV, Amplified Translation, Message Translation, TPT. Many of them have simplified the English in American English. I don't, I just, I'm waiting to see the day the Bonnick's translation is out there. Amen. Amen. Because there is Pidgin translation in Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. Just go to your phone. I don't know for those of you who have an iPhone, I don't know how it's going to work for you, but for those of us who have Android, it's easier to download. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And in most cases, when you are tired, your eyes, even me, sometimes my eyes are tired. I don't want to read. I just put it, let me hear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you know the beautiful thing about sleeping and sleeping with the Bible. Amen. Amen. Your dreams will reflect God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the beauty of it. So here is telling us about fellowship, communion with God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. For those of us who are ministers in the house, you may not understand why the result in this year, 2022, for all of you to push forward. Let me be honest with you. The more you are immersed, the more you are closer to God, the more you are farther away from the devil and his manipulation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The more you are filled. Now, to God be the glory, some of you are building altars. I'm not talking about your personal altar now. You are building altars of God in your house and with you. There were times when we were driving from Atlanta to North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, sometimes two or I was handling the, the prayer for two, 12 midnight, 12 to 10, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I remember that we used to have that van that made pure, pure. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The sense of any time we are driving, I'm praying. My mama is on the steering. On the wheel driving. I handle prayer. My soul will be sleeping. And let me tell you, there are certain battles that will not go except you surrender yourself to, to God. Completely surrender yourself. And God will take over. Donate yourself to God. That was what I told you said for me and members of my household. We shall serve the Lord. I beg all of them. I'm a living witness of how God can walk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And by consistency, you see yourself God-like. Amen. Amen. When devil look, you say this one a bad market. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. This one a bad market. The same way. It will look your children. Don't get me wrong. They will fight. But that's what I want to let everyone know. When a battle lingers more than normal, two things are important. Obviously, the enemy has a hand in it. But God wants to take glory. Amen. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. God wants to take glory ultimately. The glory will bring you closer to if anybody told me that I would be a preacher, <laughs> and about one person, I I cut that life my own way. Intellectualizing everything, this having everything, boundary to bind. But God will tell you, oh foolish man, <laughs> your life is desired, is desired of you today. Amen. Amen. Say so that thing you are leaning on will collapse so that you will lean on me. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. There are many of us that are leaning on things that don't. God will allow that tree to collapse and you now discover that it's all about God. It's all about Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us get grafted. Amen. Amen. Fellowship. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And my people who are called by my name humble themselves 
and pray and seek, crave, require as a necessity. Hallelujah. My face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I, God, will hear them from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. In other words, if you don't, God will not hear you. No matter the shout. If you don't forsake your sin, God will not hear you, he will not hear you. So in other words, what inhibits answers, hinder answers, is walking away from God and walking to a Satan. I pray for somebody tonight, and from this mountain, you will walk towards God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not just walk towards him, you will live for him, Amen. you will obey him, Amen. and you will serve him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Job 36, verse 11, if they shall obey and serve. He didn't say if they shall pray. Prayer is vital. Prayer is a relationship. It's a communication channel between humanity and divinity. And there are things that make it but then obedience and service are catalysts to answers. Amen. 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 And I pray that every godly omega child henceforth will live by obedience and service Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, there are certain things that God is looking for your hands of service. It's not looking for your tongue. It's not looking for your lips. God is looking for your hands. Because there are things in the house of the Lord that prayer cannot bring out. But service can push them. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. If you want to move this podium from the main sanctuary to the event center, prayer will not move it. It's a human hand that will move it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you want to change the keyboard, prayer will not bring it out from Jita Center. It's a human hand. I pray that your hand will move. Amen. Amen. And you will live by obedience. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Number 15 of factors that hinder prayers, hypocrisy, and plastic Christianity. Somebody give me the book of, um, okay, we got it here by the grace of God. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Mark chapter 7, verse 5, 6, from 6 to 9. Amen. Mark chapter 7. Hallelujah. Now, Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Also, when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. For they love to pray publicly standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets so that they may be seen by men. They call it ostentatious. I assure you, I most certainly will say to you, they already have their reward in full. They have their reward because everybody sees them as godly Christians. They pray a lot. Amen. Amen. But who answers prayers? God. Amen. So they pray and answer their own prayers. You will not pray and answer your prayers. Amen. God will answer your prayers. Amen. In Mark 7, verse 6, 5, it says, So far as Jesus Christ asked Jesus, Why do your disciples not live their lives according to the tradition of the elders? But instead, eat their bread with ceremonially unwashed hands. Do you know these people of this other religion? They wash feet. They wash hands. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. They wash face in addition. Now, that is why wash tone. All these things were like what we saw from Genesis. When there was killing of animals, blood, shedding of blood of animals to atone for sins. Praise the Lord. Yeah. But the heart of men were not touched. So animals were not dying in vain. That was why God said, Stop! I need your heart, I don't need animals. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The heart that beats to us all. Thank God that was God who started prayers. From the book of Ezekiel. Lord, take away the heart of stone and give me a heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in Psalm 51, 
He said, God, create in me a new heart. And renew in me a right spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. God needs our heart. It's only a heart that is beating towards God that obeys God. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many hearts that are not beating towards God. So they can't obey God. Your heart will beat towards God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And verse 6. He replied, rightly, as Prophet Isaiah prophesied about you hypocrites, play actors, pretenders, as it is written in Scripture. The people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. They worship men, in, they worship me in vain. Their worship is meaningless and worthless. A pretext, teaching the precepts of men as doctrines, giving their traditions. Equal weight with the scriptures. Praise the Lord. Amen. May your worship be real. Amen. May your worship be genuine. Amen. May your prayers be genuine. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number 16, unforgiveness and bitterness. I'm talking about factors that hinder prayers. Mark 11, 25 to 26. Mark 11, 25 to 26. We also have Matthew 6, 14. Amen. And I read Mark 11. Whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. Drop the issue. Let it go. So that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions and wrongdoings against him and others. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven Forgive your transgressions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master G. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, and somebody may ask, Pastor, what about the agents of darkness? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What about the witches and wizards? What about the occult grand masters? Amen. 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 That are after your soul. Amen. Amen. He said, But this after I went, do you know how many people that got bankrupt and got heart attack? Am I talking now? Yes, sir. So through your word, they enter your soul. I pray for somebody tonight. I receive this. Every agent of that that is after what elongates your life. That is after your word, after your joy, after your peace from this altar. In the name of Jesus Christ, they go down. Amen. They go down by fire. By Amen. Fire. Amen. Now let me tell you. There are enemies that are petty enemies. There are enemies that are after your soul. Petty enemies, you forgive them. Am I talking now? Yes. There are enemies that want you to go to hellfire. And the shortest way is to attack your soul. That is why in Psalm 35, verse 4, from one of the same, contend with them that contend against me. Fight against you that fight against me. Take off shield and buckle and call to my defense. And then that are after my soul, Lord, contend with them. Amen. I pray for you tonight. I receive. Enemies that are after your soul, may God Himself. Rebuke them. Amen. May God Himself attack and destroy them by fire. Amen. Don't get me wrong. In First Samuel chapter two, He made that wife and He killed us. Am I talking to someone? Yes, sir. Yes. I was asking God this morning during prayer. Say why? He said Hannah was not just bad. He said some were you know by death. Some were made you know. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Nobody was born barren. There must be a factor. And the factor was Hannah who was kept in that situation until she cried out to the Lord. And the God intervened. So on that day of baby dedication was the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. The day of mercy located Hannah. Judgment was released against the wicked ones. And that was why he said, he made it alive and he killed it. On that day, somebody expired. Amen. I pray for you tonight. As you 
should receive your deliverance tonight. Somebody goes down. Amen. How do I mean? On that wonderful night that the angel of God went through the land of Egypt, every life in Goshen was preserved because of the blood. And every life that was outside Goshen, outside the Hebrews camp, went down. As every life under your roof tonight, Monday Supra Gadir, whose heart, whose mind is not against you, as they are preserved, let every mind whose heart is against you go down by fire by thunder. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You say, what prayer was that? Do you know when they were living, they left with mixed motive? They were on that night, there were Egyptians that were in the house of the Hebrew people. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. They were preserved. They were preserved. And if any Hebrew stupidly on that day entered the house of the Egyptians, that Hebrew was a dead person. May you not mingle with the wrong association. Amen. Amen. May you not be found in the camp of the enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So unforgiveness is a factor. Number 17, not relying on God completely. Amen. Amen. Can hinder prayers. How? Mm. They say new church, come to make you go first. Hallelujah. Amen. They say that they pray well, well. They pray. You are going there not because you are relying on God. There are some of us that have plan A and plan B and plan C. In the matters of salvation, we don't have plan B. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Plan B means keeping God as a substitute or having an alternative to God. Let me go in case nothing happens. You have defeated faith already. You will not defeat faith yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That is where most of us are. They will not tell you. There are members, don't get me wrong, crawling from one church to another. Some go to different fellowship. Let me tell you, when I was in Redeem in Georgia, I spent 12 years in Redeem in Georgia. I never knew any other place a man of God came to town. Because I was not looking for that. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. I never. It was even when we became Omega children that people were telling us that, oh, that's your pastor was in Tallahassee, was in Atlanta two years ago. We were there. We didn't know. Even at like that, there's somebody that gave us a number. He said they do prayer line. That's the prayer line I'm handling now. That number stayed on my phone for two years. We didn't call it the number. I said number. So when they get, when I became a member of Omega, Omega Fire Ministries, they now gave me the number. I, I put it, I killed it in my phone, the bottom. Hallelujah. Amen. This plastic Christianity and false religion must die. Amen. If you must follow God, follow him. And that was why Joshua said in Joshua chapter 24, verse 13, he said, enough of this fake one for 14. Enough of this fake one. If he's so good to serve God, serve him. In truth and in spirit. But if not, serve the God that your father served and called you as a brethren. God is a searcher of hearts and a rewarder of things that diligently seek Him. God knows how honest and how fake we are. And these things inhibit prayers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The same prayer concern you brought to God through Pastor Peter's table. It's in Pastor Garba's table. Am I talking now? Yes. It's in Pastor this table. It's the same God that answers prayers. You see. All the men of God that don't have power, it's only you that don't see anything wrong about you. Am I talking now? The level of obedience. He said, What you have? When your own, when your own obedience does what? When your own obedience is complete, you'll be able to take disobedience captive. Am I talking now? 
You can't be talking about taking disobedience captive when you, your, your obedience is low. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us begin to see these things. I beg all of you. Your spiritual growth determines how far you go in Christianity. Amen. Amen. And how far the devil can also go on your mind. It, it, it takes a gradual process, but consistency and faith in God. There is no plan B. Just move on. A time will come. You will become God's project. And that's why I say, touch not my night And to my prophets no harm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I like this session because we are talking to ourselves. Amen. 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 We are in the house. Talking to ourselves. So that we don't keep on blackmailing God, blackmailing grace, blackmailing church, blackmailing the men of God. No! These are not your problems. I want to tell you, the same set, we are going to Minnesota. The same set of people that were in Maryland, the same set of people were in Baltimore, Atlanta, they will still come. Fish and bread. Amen. Amen. Fish and bread. And God knows. There was an analogy. Prophet Isa El Buba gave a few days ago last week. <coughs> and I normally give the analogy here. People come to the house of God, seeking God supposedly. And God is a merciful God, release a loaf of bread from the altar. With 20 slices, you just took a slice. And that was the first testimony you had. You ran away. Hey, <laughs> I don't matter. I don't matter, God. Death will follow you. Share the one slice. 19 slices. Are left in the house of the Lord and left in the hand of God, they are not committed. It. And when you get down there, it could be a job. Do you know some people just come to the house of the Lord for a job? Before they just open their mouth, the man of God prayed, they don't receive answer and they take off. You know, I just got a job, I didn't come to America to go to church. We get those ones. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, stop. These good roads in America were not constructed with church. And then the devil that followed you will take that job from you. Shameless people, they are still coming back. Mm. They still come back. Mm. Pastor, pray for me. I said, I'm not the one that answers prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. When you see God talk to them somewhere, you say, This time you have to walk your way from the back seat to the front. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? That is the time God wants to train you. Amen. Amen. But may the mercies of God be available if that power that has been manipulating you from your father's house will not take you away. Amen. Am I talking now? There are people that that same spirit will manipulate them. Ah, don't, they said they, 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 something happened here. They leave the church. They move on. You can enter last chance in the process. Amen. Amen. If you enter a place where a pastor tells you it doesn't matter how you live, that is not the church. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. God, it matters before God how each man lives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because that is your relationship with Him. And those are the factors that determine whether God answers prayers or not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your hearts. And do not rely on your own insights or understanding. In all thy ways, O mega children, know and acknowledge and recognize him. And he will make he will make your path straight and smooth, removing obstacles that block your way. Academic sense, intellectual sense, will not take you there. Logical sense will not take you there. Come childlike, and then he will make your path straight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Number 18, wrong relations and others. Hallelujah. I want to tell you some of the things that hinder prayers here. Wrong relationships. Or relations with others can hinder prayers. 
I categorize them under three here. Cohabiting with a person you are not properly married to can make you perpetually offend God. Am I talking now? Yes. This sin is a continuous sin. It's not an abated one. Am I talking now? You can fall into sin and fall out. But for 10 years you have been living with a woman that is not your wife. You are dwelling in sin. Am I talking now? This is not the law when they say, after cohabiting with a man for five years, this is what, what they say. No, I think they are. I don't know where the, that satanic law is from. Okay, no. After some years you become married. After some years you become married. That is not with God. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. That is a secular satanic concussion in rebellion against the principles of God. When you are not married with a lady, no matter how many baby mama, baby daddy, how many baby children you are going to meet, before God you are not married. Hallelujah. Amen. These are factors because why? Sexual sin is continually between two of you. Am I talking now? Yes. Yes, that's what it means. Cohabiting with a person you are not probably married to can make you, make you perpetually offend God. Number B, cheating on your spouse can hinder your prayers. Am I talking now? I'm talking about intimacy. C, cheating on your spouse through financial infidelity and other deadly secrets. Can hinder prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, How? First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. In the same way, you husband, live with your wives in an understanding way, with a great gentleness and tact, and with an intelligent regard for the marriage relationship, as with someone physically weaker, since she is a woman. Show her honor and respect as a fellow head of the grace of life so that your prayers will not be hindered or ineffective. Let the women that are listening to me out there, this same law applies to women. Am I talking now? Yes. If, if you go to the book of Malachi chapter 2, it talks about do not deal with the wife of your youth treacherously. Amen. Mm -hmm. For God is the judge. Your wife may not complain, but there is an advocate. There is a judge standing between two of you in the realm of the spirit. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. The same way you should deal with your husband for jealousy. I want to tell you, there are some of us here where the women have built houses back in their place. Their husband is not aware. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. So we sit down. If the money in the house does not finish, they will not rest. That's a satanic mind. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. The men, they send money. They say we are building a family house. But you have not built your own house for you and your family. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. I had the case in, uh, not quite long in um, Iowa, um, Illinois. The man built, send money to build a house. Meanwhile, the two houses they bought here in the U.S., the woman bought it. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. And the woman puts his name in the title. Yes. Wickedness in high and low places. We are talking about the things that are fighting answers to prayer. Do you know, by the time you begin to do this, in the book of Hagar, he said you labor too much, but you put your money in a leaky pocket. Before you know, your pocket will develop clothes. And then you begin to look for the pastor that doesn't have power. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Most of us are bearing the consequences of the decisions we make, including me. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I talk about it, I'm not, I'm not insulated from this whole thing. I tell you how it is. That whatever a man saw, he will wear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the mercies of God locate us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We saw a similar reference in Malachi chapter 2, 8 to 16. When you read it, you discover that wrong relationships, wrong dealings with our spouses can trigger or hinder prayers. Number 19, worldliness, including worldly dressing, conversation, 
and the Holy Chatter can hinder prayers. Amen. 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 When they can't distinguish between you and unbelievers, when you <coughs> come to the house of the Lord, you wear a patch of you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you wear don't cross the gutter. Amen. Amen. And you want to come to touch the altar. Not this altar of God. Am I talking now? Amen. Not this altar. When women at 50 and 48, 47, 45 are still competing with young girls, 16, 17, 18, either it's a mental health or all the demons in their family are working on them. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. When you were 16, you dressed like it. He said, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. Is it not? Yes. What the Bible say? Yes, sir. And I acted like a child. But now, now that I'm old, let me act like a good person. You are 45. You go to a shop and use $400 to purchase disgrace as a clothes. Am I talking now? Do you know useless clothing are more expensive than responsible clothing? Mm -hmm. Useless clothing are more expensive they give it a brand name. I don't care what brand name that leads to hellfire. Let me wear something without a brand name and make help. Than wearing a brand name that takes me to hellfire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are coming to the house of the Lord. You are dressing all the cleavages. My American brothers and sisters, I applaud you. You may not be going to church, but the day you want to go to church, you go to Ross and get new clothes. Mm -hmm. They want to cover themselves up. Mm -hmm. I give that to Americans. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You invite them to church. They say, I'm not coming to church tomorrow because I don't have the clothes. But next Sunday I'm coming. They, they make sure they reserve money. They go to Ross and buy the good clothes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And they come to the church fully dressed. Do you know even long believers know how Christians should dress? Mm -hmm. Am I talking about Yes, sir. They know how Christians must comport themselves. They know how Christians must talk, how they must live their lives. And when you goof a Christian, that's what they will ask you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let us, in our conversation, he said, let all your conversation be, be salted. Amen. Amen. Let all our conversations, wherever we put Isaiah 3, I'm not going to read it. Isaiah 3, 16 to 26. Amen. He's talking about dressing here and ornament. But let your character be the ultimate. Amen. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 2, 16 to 18. Avoid the relevant Bible and godless chatter. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's what he's telling us. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32 to 33. Therefore, everyone who confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Matthew 10, 32 to 33. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. On that note, we are ending it tonight. We're just concluding the factor that inhibits answers to prayers. By next Tuesday, we're going to what Papa taught to the dynamics of prayers. Amen. Amen. If you have your time, you can listen to that. The dynamics of prayers and they were dealing also on the things that make for answers to prayers and the things that inhibit prayers. Amen. Any question, contribution before we sign up from this hand? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Just a quick announcement. Our our youth week is coming. Amen. 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 I urge the parents to release their children. Amen. Amen. Now our boot camp is booming. We are receiving people from outside. Amen. Amen. Yeah, kids from outside are coming. The only thing that made me have a reservation was the heating situation. I didn't want any legal action against the church. Amen? Amen. But when I heard the background of the parents, I said, okay, they should come. Amen. Amen. 
think they are from KT and all that. Praise the Lord. So they will not take out any law courts. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is helping us so fully by tomorrow. I think we should be able to pull it reasonably. Um, yesterday, three companies came to a family place and all that. I just spoke to landlord to do what is necessary. Amen. Amen. Then, women conference will also come. Hallelujah. Amen. The last thing I want to advise us is we have our crusade. The third crusade is coming now. If you have not attended one crusade, in the US. This is not right. Amen. Amen. This is our own thing. Amen. Amen. Every crusade is your crusade. Hallelujah. Amen. It costs money. Well, our own is coming. Amen. Amen. Our own crusade is coming. Amen. But before our own comes, let us help others that are hosting. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us raise up and send to the pastor on ground. I trust me, when it is our turn, you will understand. When we did Miami, most of you didn't understand. Pastor okay was very instrumental. Amen. Amen. But this one, you are the ones that are here. We should be looking at a minimum of 150 to 160,000 to do that. God is going to help us. Amen. 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 But now is the time to start. To start. Amen. 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 The committee is in place. I don't know how you guys are working. Amen. Amen. And they, again, there are two structures that we must not die. The house fellowship and the men fellowship and the women fellowship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. These are issues of commitment. I'm not bugging And I just make sure the structures in Omega Fire Ministry remain in Florida. Amen. Amen. The campus fellowship remains. Even as the minister is graduating and working on replacement. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's not to say that he's not going to be overseeing that department. But we also make sure that that department remains. We have youth department. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have teenagers. Hallelujah. Why are we doing these things? If we must ensure that our children marry in the right atmosphere. And we will not sit down and be crying. Our daughters and our sons will go and bring Jezebel children from outside. He said, Mom, you are discriminating. Why? We were part of that problem. So consciously, let us create an enabling environment for the tomorrow of our children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not a wishful thinking, it's, it's not going to fall from the sky. It's something, a commitment that you and I must make. To ensure that we create a platform for this children. It has to do with sacrifice. We must make a sacrifice as father and mother. So no matter what it is, please, let us begin to work towards that. In a matter of three, four years, our children will begin to come home with somebody say, and say, oh, we wedded yesterday. Where were you when your daughter wedded? Where were you when your son wedded? Praise the Lord.